It began with a whisper from the void. A tiny probe, launched in 1977, now traveling through the most hostile, silent, and mysterious corners of the cosmos, just sent back something that no one, absolutely no one, was prepared to see. For over four decades, Voyager 1 has drifted farther and farther from Earth, becoming the most distant object humanity has ever created. Its instruments, running on ancient eight-track technology, should have gone silent long ago. And yet, against all odds, it continues to speak. But this time, it didn't just send back ordinary data. This time, it captured something so unexplainable, so unimaginable, that even seasoned scientists at NASA reportedly froze in disbelief. What has Voyager 1 truly found in the dark beyond our solar system? What is this signal, this discovery, that defies all logic? Stay with us, because what you're about to learn might just reshape everything we thought we knew about the universe. Voyager 1 wasn't built to last this long. Its original mission was simple, a flyby of Jupiter and Saturn, gathering data and images before it drifted off into the unknown. But the spacecraft had other plans. Against the odds, and with computing power millions of times weaker than your smartphone, it kept going. Past the gas giants, past Pluto, past everything we once considered our neighborhood. Today, it's more than 14 billion miles away in interstellar space, navigating a region untouched by sunlight and dominated by forces we barely understand. And while most machines from the 70s are rusted in museums, Voyager 1 is still active, still collecting data, and still surprising even its creators. Every signal it sends is like a voice from the ancient past speaking across time. And now, that voice has said something new and terrifying. NASA engineers were monitoring the deep space network when something unusual happened. Among the routine data packets, there appeared a strange variation, one that didn't fit any known pattern. At first, it was dismissed as noise, static, interference. But when the signal repeated and the frequency became consistent, researchers knew this wasn't just random. Voyager 1, using technology so primitive it still relies on magnetic tape, had captured a transmission, a structured anomaly originating from the edge of interstellar space. Some speculated it might be a plasma event or a strange distortion in the heliospheric boundary. But the rhythm of the pulses, their mathematical precision, that's what sent chills down everyone's spine. Because nature is chaotic. But this, this seemed deliberate. Back in 1990, Voyager 1 looked back at Earth one last time and captured the legendary pale blue dot image, a haunting reminder of our fragility in the vastness of space. That moment was orchestrated by Carl Sagan himself, a poetic farewell before the camera was turned off forever. But now, scientists are combing through the new data and comparing it with past transmissions, and what they're finding is deeply unsettling. Tiny fluctuations, previously ignored, are beginning to form patterns. Some even claim there's an echo within the signal, something reflecting back, as if Voyager isn't just observing space anymore, but being observed in return. Could it be a natural reflection? A signal bounce? Or something intelligent watching from the dark? When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends, it entered truly uncharted territory. Scientists expected chaos, solar particles battling galactic forces. But what they got was silence, eerie, unnatural silence. And now this region is at the heart of the latest mystery. The new data shows anomalies in plasma density, magnetic field inconsistencies, and temperature variations that shouldn't exist. It's like the laws of physics are starting to bend out there. And within this silent void, the source of the unimaginable discovery begins to take shape. Not a planet, not a star, not even a black hole, but something else. Something unclassified, possibly unseen by human eyes, until now. As data analysts began dissecting the mysterious signal, something far stranger emerged. The signal's return path appeared distorted, not just in timing, but in structure. 
Normally, the delay in communication from Voyager 1 is predictable due to its vast distance, over 21 hours for a one-way message. But in this case, certain segments of the signal returned too fast, and others didn't return at all. This hinted at one terrifying possibility. Something may have interfered with the signal mid-transmission. Imagine throwing a bottle into the ocean, and before it arrives, someone opens it, reads the message, and reseals it with their own handwriting inside. That's what this anomaly felt like. Not a malfunction, not static, but tampering. Something in the deep was not just intercepting data, it was responding to it. Quietly, precisely, and with intent. Behind every number there is meaning, behind every silence, a possibility. And behind Voyager's garbled streams of data, astrophysicists started to notice a recurring pattern. Not in the visible spectrum, not in any electromagnetic emission known to man, but in the gaps, in the interruptions that occurred in specific cycles. These weren't random outages. They followed a strange rhythm, almost like a heartbeat. A slow, deliberate pulse that seemed to align with nothing in known space. That's when the word artifact began appearing in classified NASA memos. Some insiders began referring to it as a presence, something unseen yet always adjacent to Voyager's path. And as wild as it sounds, some hypothesized that Voyager 1 may have passed through or near a cloaked structure, possibly not of natural origin. Of course, no one dared say the word artificial out loud. Not yet. But the fear and the silence said enough. In a twist straight out of a sci-fi film, engineers discovered that Voyager 1 had begun using portions of dormant programming code, code that hadn't been active since the 1980s. This legacy system was buried deep in Voyager's software and should have been permanently deactivated decades ago. Yet somehow, the spacecraft had reactivated it, without command. Even more shocking, the code didn't execute any known function. It simply looped, over and over. It was as if something, or someone, had forced Voyager to recall a memory. A memory embedded in its early systems. Something ancient. Something almost ritualistic. One software engineer, speaking anonymously, said it was like watching an old computer start reciting a forgotten prayer. But who, or what, told it to remember? As Voyager moved deeper into the void, Onboard instruments began to pick up dramatic fluctuations in the surrounding magnetic field. At first, scientists thought it was due to interstellar plasma interacting with the spacecraft's sensors. But the readings didn't match anything documented before. The magnetic waves were structured, geometrically precise, too clean to be natural noise. Some described it as magnetic scaffolding, as if Voyager had entered a region of space where the very fabric of reality was organized differently. What made this even more chilling was that the magnetic fluctuations seemed to mirror Voyager's trajectory. It was like space itself was watching the spacecraft and adjusting in real time. Some researchers began to privately compare it to the gravitational anomalies observed near theoretical wormholes. Was Voyager approaching a rift, a gateway, or the edge of something even more unfathomable? Voyager 1 was launched as a symbol of curiosity, an emblem of humanity's desire to explore, to understand, to connect. It was meant to drift silently into the unknown, carrying golden records and digital whispers from Earth, like a bottle tossed into a cosmic ocean. And for 45 years, it did just that. Quiet, distant, faithful. But now, something has changed. This latest transmission isn't just data. It's a rupture, a sign. A doorway. Somewhere between stars and silence, Voyager has touched something. Maybe it was always there, watching us watching the sky. Or maybe Voyager knocked on a door that should have never been opened. This isn't science fiction. This is real. This is happening now. And if Voyager has found the unimaginable, then maybe we're not alone. Maybe we never were. If this revelation stirred something in you, if your heart beat faster or your imagination ran wild, don't stop here. Subscribe to join us as we chase the next anomaly, the next whisper from space, the next truth that could change everything. Comment below. What do you think Voyager found? Was it a signal? 
a structure, or a warning, 